Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. We start off today, with the LASCOC-3 filter, showing two comets diving toward the sun, observed on the 16th. I'll zoom in for a closer look. The two comets disintegrated as they approached the Sun. The smaller one vaporized first, and the larger penetrated a bit deeper before it disappeared. On this solar flare classification chart, the solar flare activity is shown for the last three days. Just here, is a C5.17 class solar flare that occurred today. Now showing the last 24 hours of activity. Now we'll take a look at the CME from the 19th through the 20th. Observed on the LASCOC2 filter. Now a look using the LASCOC2 and C3 filters. I'll pull back for a view of the CME as they expand through space. The ISWA model is still showing the path of the CME from the 18th, as Mercury, OSIRIS-REx satellite with Mars gets a dose of solar wind and radiation. There are three sunspot regions on the Earth-facing side of the Sun today. Old sunspot AR2936 is about to return over the Sun's northeastern limb. It just launched a narrow CME over the edge of the Sun, propelled by a C5 plus solar flare. Earlier this morning on the KP index, between 12 a.m. through 3 a.m., there was a numerical value registered of 5, which on the G scale had a value of G1 which is a minor geomagnetic storm. Using this solar wind model, we can observe a stream of charged particles emanating from the sun, as it passes over the earth which can create geomagnetic storms, which occurred today. Up next is this geomagnetic field model, of the U.S. which shows a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines. Looks like the intensity climbed up to 38 megavolts per kilometer, which is still at the lower scale of intensity on the graph. Now a look at the Aurora forecast model from the 19th to the 20th, which green indicates a decreased chance of seeing the Aurora at lower latitudes. This geospace magnetosphere, pressure model shows moderate pressure for today. The moon tonight will be in the waning gibbous phase, illumination, 85%. Here are some anomalies, observed on different filters sometimes, which are explained as solar particles, but may be something as yet to be explained correctly. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.